guys, welcome back, Andrew and Andy here. Today I'm going to pit my trusty Note 3 against my new Galaxy S5. Um, I will declare right now this is not on a stock ROM, it's on XNote 15. Uh, it's based on stock so it won't be wildly different, um, but I know it really upsets some people, you know, they, they insist it must be stock versus stock. I did look into downloading stock, apart from the sort of two or three hour downloads at best for the one and a half gig ROM. Um, there's a lot of pitfalls when you're updating on Samsung. For some reason, they're trying to lock devices down and stop you from editing with, uh, of mucking around with them. And it was just too much, to be honest, for the, uh, for me. I just, I'll be honest, I couldn't be bothered. There's, there's such a, such a pain in there. Oh, there's no restart. Why is there no restart on? Okay, so the first test I'm going to do is my, uh, my trusty, mm. totally useless boot test. I'm going to do a restart test, but mm. all right, so they're both vibrating, indicating they're off. Mm. There we go. So this is totally stock. Um, the date is the 13th of May today. It's on the most up-to-date software that Samsung have. As I say, this is on XNote 15, but it is based on stock. So yes, there's going to be some tweaks. There might be some slight performance improvements, but I honestly don't think they'll be that big. The S5, clearly the winner there. We'll now wait for the Note 3 to catch up. Check the back cover. Yes, the battery cover is on. Thank you. The Note 3 are a long way behind. Actually, can I have a board now? Come on. Get on with it. Okay, I'm actually going to pause for a couple of minutes just uh, before I do the Angry Birds opening test because again, some people get upset when I try and open things too quickly, having just booted up. So, one second. Right, that should be uh, plenty of time for them to do whatever they need to do on a reboot. We're now going to try the Angry Birds opening test. The Note 3 with a slight edge with the initial, but then the S5. The S5 came back for the victory. Let's try once again. Does the no oh that was very much the same? So you've got to think. Oh, quite close. But I would say the S5 did win. Um, you can see there the processor speed slightly slower on the Note 3, but more memory than the S5. Let's go ahead and start the benchmarks up. Oh, it is genuine, so I don't know quite why it's uh, arguing with me. As usual, I'll come back to you when the test is run. We're almost there, it's quite quick, Geekbench 3. Now, we would expect the S5 to win, obviously, running on the new 801 chipset compared to the 800 chipset, although they do have the same processor and same GPU. That's, I think it's a slightly higher score than I got the other day, actually. So there we go, the multi-core, wow, that's, that's quite an impressive uh, difference, 600 points. Um, just so you can see exactly what is, is, uh, being, uh, is under the hood, so to speak. KOT 49H on both of them. Um, in fact, they have the same motherboard. So... Uh, there we go. Don't know if any of those mean anything to anybody. I'll scroll through some of them. If there's some of you looking for, you can hit pause, perhaps. Um, so the S5 a clear winner. I have to say, in use, it doesn't feel. I mean, maybe that's when the the fact that I'm not on stock comes into play. In use, the Note 3 almost. I I can't help but think it feels a little smoother that might just be my imagination there we go so they've both been running about the same amount of time but i'm gonna i'm gonna hit reset to clear all cached gps data to make it do a cold start so i'll hit reset i'll hit back and then i'll come back into the app is the plan straight away both of them have the gpsa data downloaded 
the S5 which was very quick in my last test against the Nexus 5 straight away has seven, seven satellites and the Note 3 has none oh it's gradually seeing them so the S5 seems to have a clear easy win the Note 3 is still not connected I can guarantee you I have no problems outdoors and it is I am in my bedroom in the roof of my house um, so it is a bit harder than usual you when you've got clear line of sky it will be much quicker but the S5 even you know even indoors locked on very quickly with very good accuracy so there we go the S5 clear one of there just to check that it's not the uh, position I've swapped them over because one is a bit nearer the window you know you never know that might be enough to make a difference so I'm going to do one quick rerun with their position swapped well the Note 3 for a second thought it had them but no the S5's got six of them already, eight yeah, so I think that shows it's not about ones near the window or anything the S5 is just a much quicker fix right gonna move on to the speaker test Both struggling a little with the bass there. Um. Both sound reasonable. Um, possibly there might be a tweak on the speaker that's increased the output volume because it's a little distorted at times. So that might be a bit of a failing that I've got a custom ROM. Um, from this actual sound test using my decibel meter, I can tell you the Note 3 is a lot louder. It doesn't sound. Yeah, maybe it does. Maybe it does. Not massively different though, actually. Less than I thought. I thought it'd be much clearer than that. Let's try with a bit of a podcast vo uh, voice instead of music. Of the year, followed by Nico Rosberg and Daniel Ricciardo. So, gentlemen, Lewis Hamilton, how dominant is he and how dominant is he? Win of the year, followed by Nico Rosberg and Daniel Ricciardo. So, gentlemen, Lewis Hamilton, how dominant is he and how dominant is that Mercedes? I think today's race was really won in qualifying and at the start for Hamilton and Rosberg. Is that Mercedes? I think today's race was really won in qualifying and at the start for Hamilton and Rosberg. Rosberg had another ball getaway against the third race. race. So I, I think you can tell that the uh, the Note 3 is audibly louder. Um, okay, finally we're going to do the browser test using Chrome. I'm clearing both of them, their browsing data. They're both just stock Chrome that you would download from the Play Store. We're going to go first of all, the S5 snuck through there I believe, slightly quicker. Have a quick look at their screens, that's quite a good screen to have a look at their colours and so I think they both look pretty good um, sort of uh, tone and warmth, they're, they're both fairly neutral I would say. Um, I'm not sure I can see a difference at all. Possibly a slightly pink, slightly warmer, but only tiny, again that might just be my eyes playing tricks on me. So anyway, let's carry on with the browser test. Um, let's go to nfl.com next. S5 seems to have choked up a little. Mm. 29 mentions. So the Note 3 looks to have. I mean, neither of them are fully loaded just yet. Oh, in fact, so the S5 is fully loaded, the Note 3 isn't. I'm actually a bit worried that my, my Wi Fi is uh, causing more of the problems rather than, rather than the browsers. We'll, we'll go one more, but uh, I'm a little unsure that. Oops. I'm a little unsure that these, these tests can be trusted just because I'm a bit concerned by my Wi-Fi. The S5 snuck through. Neither have finished actually loading just yet. 
Oh, I missed, <laughs> I missed which finish first. I think really, I don't know, you can't separate them very easily. There seemed to be a bit of choke occasionally, but I had this, I won't lie, this is the second time I've recorded it because I had the wrong Wi-Fi connected and it seemed that each one would choke at different times. I think when they both load smooth, they're, they're almost identical. Um, anyway, you've seen the results like I have, so you can make your decision. So there you go, I'll leave you to make your own decision on which is better, which was faster. The benchmarks clearly showed the S5, the GPS clearly showed the S5, the browser was too close to call, the speaker was with the Note 3. Who really cares about the boot up and the opening games? It's just kind of I throw them in there for you to see. Um, I'll let you decide. I will probably be sticking with the Note 3 because of the bigger screen. But hardware wise, is the S5 that big an improvement? Uh, I'm not sure. Anyway, my name's Andy, I'll catch you all again soon.